So for my next art journal project for the last day of my seven days of Christmas series for 2017, um, I found this image of a rooftop um, on the internet and it was an SVG cutting file. Um, so I brought it into Photoshop and I redid it as a black and white image and then printed it on my laser printer. But unfortunately, for some strange reason, the laser, uh, the toner hasn't stuck to it properly, which isn't too much of a problem because I was actually going to cut it out. Anyway, as you can see, I've already made a start on this window. So what I want to do is I actually want to cut out some of the shapes from the paper and kind of use it as a template to build up um, an image for my art journal page. Um, but I actually want to keep like this piece here, which is separate, and I want to keep this bit of chimney here, which is in the foreground, and then this background kind of rooftop I also want to keep. Um, so it's going to take me a, a bit of a while to cut this kind of from the paper. Um, so instead of making you sit there and watching me cut this out in real time, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it onto fast forward and then put some music on so you can see what it is that I'm doing. So this is going to be a bit trial and error-ish. <laughs> so you'll have to bear with me. while I decide what elements I want to keep and what I don't. So for example, take off those chimney pots there because I can add those in manually with what I'm doing later. Okay, so let's get that music playing. Okay, that's pretty much what I want. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be working in my black 8x8 Dilutions journal on this page here. So I'm going to use this kind of as my template to draw my rooftop in. And I'm going to use pencil to start off with. So I'm just going to kind of roughly draw around the shapes that I've cut out. Not being 100% exact, it's just kind of like the rough shape of what I want. And I'll also just Draw in those windows there because you'll see why in a second. Okay, so you can see I've kind of got that stylized rooftop. So let's move that journal back out of the way. And now I'm going to remove this bottom section. I'm just going to go straight up. And then go straight across. Okay. So now I'm going to bring back the journal. Line up where those windows were, which is why I drew those earlier. And then just using the pencil, recreate that outline.
just there. Like so. And then I think we're ready to go. So using the white Stabilo uh, opaque broad pen, just make sure that it is actually working. I'm now going to go around and draw over the top. those pencil marks there. So it doesn't really matter whether it's 100% perfect because we can fine tune and make adjustments later. For the purpose of what we're doing. Seems ages since I've worked in this black journal. In fact, when was the last date? Huh. 30th of October. There you go. So it wasn't that long ago. Careful not to smudge it out. To turn it around, and make it easier. I know, kind of like rooftops and cityscape scenes, that kind of stuff. People really, really seem to enjoy, uh, and I really enjoy creating. Um, rooftops and like say cityscapes because it's a bit different and a bit unusual so for this one there we go I'm actually going to do the opposite of what you saw on that page so where the white is, that's actually where I'm going to colour in and make white. So I'm kind of going to reverse it out a little bit. Because it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. because we're going to be colouring it in. Now where we had those other kind of chimney pots, we can now draw those in and make them part of the main drawing. And then there was a little birdie sat on the top. So we'll add him back in again. And we had a smaller kind of chimney spouts. This is why I wasn't too bothered about adding in all that detail and getting it so it was perfectly cut out because I knew I could just add them back in again a bit later and make them all part of the drawing. So let's just get rid of that and then we can add in our own And of course, we can also add in a little bit of other detail if we want to, like the ubiquitous TV aerial. 
not the satellite kind that we're all so used to these days. I'm going to come across to this side. Just add in another chimney pot there. And maybe another one in there. And then we'll do another one. And another one. And I think here I'll add in another TV aerial. And maybe over here I may just add in one solitary looking cat. Okay, so I now need to completely fill in this section <coughs> of uh, of the white so what I need to do is bring in a brush and I've got some gesso and I'm going to repaint over the top with that gesso it's only going to be a small brush So again, this is going to take a little bit of time. So I'll put some music on. Okay, pretty much happy with that for the time being. I'm going to grab a little bit of sponge and I also want my lunar stencil. But first of all, I want to make sure that this is completely dry. So I'm going to give it a blast with a heat gun. Excuse me. Okay, so my Luna stencil. I'm going to grab the sponge and pour a little bit of the gesso. Not a lot, just into the lid. And I'm just going to go around. I'll probably do this 
couple of times depending on how it sits as it's drying as it starts to die back Give it a blast with a heat gun and see what happens. <coughs> Actually, I'm okay with that. I don't want to um, add any more of that, that white on top of there. I'm actually quite happy with that. Okay, what I need to do now is to find a proper little stencil brush, which I know I've got somewhere hiding in one of my drawers so I'll be right back. Don't go away. Okay, so the next bit I'm going to use the actual moonscape part but I've also got my watering can archiving and proper stencil brush. So I'm just going to load up the stencil brush and just start may take a while. That may be too subtle, I think. It is going on. May take a little bit longer than anticipated. Okay, so a bit of a change of plan. Instead of using the grey, let's use some black gesso. But I'm going to use Dina Wakeley black gesso because it's got more of a kind of gel consistency. It's more structured. So if we can see if we can get that lined up exactly as it was before. But it doesn't matter too much if I can't get it exact. It's just these smaller delicate kind of pieces and once I've done that I can probably grab another piece of sponge
I'm hoping that's what it is. <laughs> That'll do for me. A little bit too dry. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm just going to cover that up. I've also got a mask <coughs> somewhere. No, I've put it away. Never mind. Um, but that's fine. I've tied it up and I can't find anything now. There we go. Right. So, back with the gesso. I'm going to get a little bit of paint. A little spray of water. Not too much. And then let's start adding in Bring that down a little bit further. So instead of it just being stars, I actually want it to book a little bit or more. like snowfall which is why I'm not too bothered if it goes a little bit over the moon I right don't here My fingers getting tired There we go. Moonlight Snowfall. Let's give that a blast. Right, I'm just going to touch up a few of the areas with this white Faber Castell pit pen. Add a bit more white into the mix. I don't particularly want to have to go back over it again completely. Um, with the white paint. This white pen from Faber Castell, which unfortunately they no longer make. The big brush pit pens are now, as far as I'm aware, discontinued. Although you can still get the small pit pens, just not the big brush ones, which is a huge shame because the great. Of course you could do exactly the same thing with one of the white Posca paint pens. But I just never seem to have much luck with those paint pens. Which is why I'm using this one. But if you wanted to recreate a page similar to this, or identical to this in fact, use whatever you want. It's your page when all said and done. Use what makes you happy.
happier with that. And then just over here, actually let's get that dry first. Because it's India ink it does take a little bit longer. Let me just quickly blast that and get it dry. And just to finish it off, I'm going to use this pen here, which is the Signo one. I'm just going to write Minor adjustment, and I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to call this page done. So I hope you've enjoyed the last day of my seven days of Christmas series for 2017. I'd just like to say a huge thank you to everybody for all the fantastic comments and support throughout 2017. I'm hoping that 2018 will be even better. I want to say as well a huge thank you to all of my angels and just for you there will be an extra special bonus day eight that you can access with your angel password over on my website tomorrow.